Hey guys, in this video we are going to cover hirsutism. Hirsutism refers to excessive growth of male pattern hair on the female body, like the beard, moustache, or hairs over the chest. And the major cause of hirsutism is excessive amount of androgens in the female body. Apart from this, female sex hormones androgens are generally seen in the female body, but it is present in very small amount, and they are of four types. First one. is androstenedione dion second one is testosterone third one is dehydroepiandrosterone acetate and fourth one is dhea sulfate androstenedione dion it is majorly produced from the ovary luteinizing hormone it acts upon the theca cells of the ovary and this leads to the production of androstenedione dion and most of this androstenedione dion is converted to another form of the androgen and that form is testosterone and the other two type of androgen that is dhea and dhea sulfate they are produced from the adrenal cortex and this androgens they are not present in the free form majorly this androgens they are bound to an protein and that protein is steroid binding protein and because of that only less than 1% of this androgens is present in free form and it is this free form that is acting over the receptors and is causing the excessive growth of hairs now coming to the work up of the patients so the first thing would be to see the level of androgens in this patient if the level of androgens are normal then the person is said to be suffering from idiopathic hirsutism it is known as idiopathic hirsutism because although here the level of androgens is normal but then also the person is suffering from hirsutism and if the level of androgens are raised then we have to go for further work up like we have to see the level of 17 hydroxy progesterone whether it is raised or it is not raised and if the level is raised that is greater than 800 nanogram per deciliter then we can say that the person is suffering from late onset congenital adrenal hyperplasia and if the level of 17 hydroxy progesterone is not raised then we will try to find out that which is the type of androgen that was raised whether it is testosterone or is it dhea or dhea sulfate and if it is dhea or dhea sulfate then what is the major organ that is causing this yes it is the adrenal cortex so most probably the cause will be a tumor of the adrenal cortex that is secreting this dhea and dhea sulfate and if the level of testosterone is raised then we will try to find out the levels of testosterone if the level of the testosterone is less than 200 nanogram per deciliter then the most common cause can be pcos that is polycystic ovarian syndrome it is also known as pcod polycystic ovarian disease or steven levinthal syndrome it is the most common cause of hirsutism in the young female and if the level of testosterone is greater than 200 nanogram per deciliter then we will do an ultrasound for the female and if in the ultrasound we see a mass in the ovary then we can say that the person is having a tumor of the ovary that is producing this androgens consider the work up now let us see the scoring system that is used for the hirsutism the scoring system that is used is ferriman galway score in this score we take the presence of pubic hairs or the sexual hairs on the 11th sides where this score has been modified and is known as modified ferriman galway score and in the modified score we consider only nine side and two sides have been removed from the original score and those sides were leg and the four arm now coming to the management of this patient we try to treat this patient with the oral contraceptives oral contraceptives contain two compound one is the estrogen and the other one is the progesterone estrogen it acts on the steroid binding protein 
and it increases the level of steroid binding protein and as the level of steroid binding protein is increased more and more androgen binds to this steroid binding protein and because of this there is reduction in the level of free androgens and hence the effect of this androgens is decreased now talking about this progesterone it has negative feedback on the luteinizing hormone and as i told you that the luteinizing hormone acts on the ovary and it produces this testosterone isn't it and that is why it reduces the symptoms of the hirsutism by decreasing the androgens but after using the ocp for 6 months if still there is no response then we try to use the anti androgenic drugs and the most effective one is the spironolactone and the other drug that can be used apart from the spironolactone is cyproterone acetate glutamide or finasteride and still if there is no response we try to use gonadotropin releasing hormone in the continuous dose because in the continuous dose gnrh is it suppresses lh and fsh and it reduces the level of androgens in the body in the post menopausal female we can consider using e flornithin cream in them e flornithin cream and in the young females as you all might be aware laser treatment can be used so with this thank you for watching and for more videos do subscribe to this channel and any suggestions or any queries are always welcomed